Okay, guys, so here is a challenge for you. It is a fishing challenge where the goal is to fish in every single fishing hole in the map and get every fish in the game. Now, you can do this in Battle Lab. Uh, it's the easiest way to keep track of your time because it's a four hour time slot for each. You don't have to worry about the storm. And you don't have to worry about enemy people trying to kill you as well. Uh, when you do this, the place to land, and I, I found this is definitely the best place, is if you go over to Craggy. Um, I don't know if it always spawns you over Holly. Uh, I went in here twice, and that's where it spawned me. Um, but Craggy is the place to go. There are so many barrels with fishing poles, you are bound to get a blue one. Uh, it's a lot harder now because you can't just get materials and upgrade, and those people that you talk to are not in Battle Lab. So you can't go talk to someone and upgrade your fishing pole, so you have to actually find a pro fishing rod. Uh, Craggy is the place to do it. now. I'm going to show you exactly where to go, where to land in Craggy, where you can find one. Uh, if you don't find one here, I'd be really, really surprised because cause there's a lot. There's a lot of fishing poles. This uh, building in the center here, it's a bait and tackle shop. Uh, upstairs, downstairs, and in a lot of other places in Craggy also are these barrels here. Um, I found one pretty quick. That's it. Uh, so here's my results, okay? I got every single fish except for number 40, and I'm convinced that number 40 is not in the game because this took me five hours, okay? Five hours. In my first session of Battle Lab, um, I managed to fish the entire map. And later in the video, I'm going to let you know exactly how I did it, tips, tricks, and things that will help you. I did this alone. Uh, I suggest bringing a friend to help you. Um, don't, don't have them fish. Uh, just have them help by holding guns, uh, useful fish, uh, like the rift fish and um, the zero point fish that have you like double jump. Um, also, you want a friend to have a gun because sharks are still in the game and they're in more spots than they were last season. The most difficult fish that I had a hard time finding was number 13. Uh, that one was really hard. <clears throat> that one, I'll, I'm going to go into number 13, fish number 13, at the end of the video. Uh, but this one, number 16, that one you can only find at night. The green shield fish is only in forest areas. And Weeping Woods is the main forest area. There's really not a lot of fishing spots. So I didn't get one my first time around, but I did my second. Um, and again, this white slurp fish can only be found in swampy and at night. Uh, I, I have a couple clips of my struggles in Slurpee waiting for the sun to go down. Uh, you'll see all of that towards the end of the video. But what I want you to do guys, um, before I go into the tips and tricks and you know things that'll kind of help you out with this, I want you to uh, like the video, save the video, copy a link, Share the link with your friends. Do whatever you have to do, but don't lose the video because when you're done, I, well, first I want you to comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try this and let me know if you think you can get a better time. Um, and then when you're done, I want you to comment back on your initial comment and I want you to let me know how long it took you if you got all the fish and you did it, if you did it alone or with a friend, um, but I do suggest a friend just to have the, the useful fish and guns to deal with the sharks because they're really annoying and I'm going to show you some of that later in the video as well. So, whoa, there's still sharks in the game. There are still sharks in Surprise. the game. 
I uh, I did I not see you. this coming. I didn't think they were gonna be there. They were such a nuisance. I wasted so oh. much time fighting the stupid sharks. But sometimes like this, uh the sharks one time, one time, only one time, the shark did me a solid. Uh, I just got done at a hole. That was the last fish I pulled out. And he bumped me over to some more holes. I was like, heck yeah, thank you. Now I don't have to switch the seats and drive and blah, 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 blah. But then he bumps me away again. <laughs> like, really? Really, buddy? Uh, but yeah, the, the time wasted on sharks is really annoying. So if you can bring someone in to help you deal with them, it'll make it so much easier. Uh, boats. If you have a friend driving the boat for you, that will save you so much time having to switch the seats and get back in the driver's seat. Um, but I drove around the whole map. Uh, I went down every single river. I went every single place in the map. Uh, now, if you are taking a boat and you're going down the rivers, well, well, water moves one way in a river, and uh, if you don't have your boat fully to the side, your boat's going to go along with the water, and then you're going to waste even more time chasing after it. That was so fun. It happened to me. When it happened the second time, I gave up. Now, henchmen, these guys, I think they're called henchmen. I don't even know. They're in the game. They have more than 200 health. I'll snipe them in the head, and then I still have to AR them for over 100. They are so annoying. So if you can avoid them, uh, I did fight them at one point, and it it sucked. It sucked so much because I had very little guns. I I wasn't planning on actually fighting. I didn't have guns before, but I picked them up. <laughs> All I had was an AR. And uh, it was just a pain. Um, make sure you're always going with the water, too. If, if you can help it, carry the useful fish with you. That's what I ended up doing. I, I regretted not having more of the rift fish and the zero point fish to get around faster if I didn't have a boat handy. Uh, it definitely did help me a lot, especially because some of the fishing holes are kind of far and... This way, you know, backtracking, you could just rift over and get to where you want to go. So I did end up dropping my guns when I was almost done around the outside of the map where the sharks are. But, uh, you know, like I said, if you have a friend doing this with you, that's awesome because your friend can deal with the annoying sharks while you fish. And problem solved. <laughs> Just make sure it's only one of you fishing because you don't want to miss a fish because um, some of them are really hard to find. Uh, use the useful fish. This zero point fish, it, it got me from point A to point B so quick so many times. Uh, the rift fish as well, I'd go down like a river way and then I'd just rift back over to where I started because, you know, the river parts. Now Slurpee, oh my god. You cannot see the fishing holes. You can't see them. If you're on the ground, it's so easy to miss them. Build up two or three levels high, and you can see them so easy. And mats are really easy to get in Battle Lab, too. So uh, build. Just build away in Slurpee. I had, I had ramps and floors all over. Now, there are a couple fishing spots that you can easily forget about. Um, I just wanted to show you where they are. There's one in Weeping uh, over by Holly, and there's another one by Holly too that I'm going to show you. But don't forget to get these places as well, because uh, the challenge is every single fishing hole in the game, trying to get every single fish, except for number 40. Uh, I even went to see me. I was like, hey, maybe there's a fish in here that matters. And nope, all I got were a bunch of small fry that didn't matter. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, I went to the grotto too. There's, you know, a whole lot of nothing there still. And I got a whole lot of nothing fishing there. No fishing holes, but I didn't know if maybe there was a fish particular to these areas. There's nothing there. Don't waste your time.
Uh, and, you know, again, these uh, useful fish, man, they, they'll get you where you got to go. And you know, especially if you're going upstream, you know, always try to go downstream if you can help it. But these, uh, these zero point fish are so cool. And, and they're super common too. You know, I got so many of them. So eventually I just kept two stacks of them and I used two stacks of those and two stacks of rift fish to get to wherever I had to go. I, uh, the lazy lake, don't forget this part here too. Um, I almost did. This is my last area before I ran out of time. Now, Slurpee, okay? This white slurp fish I was talking about earlier in the video, you can only catch it in a fishing hole at night. And I was getting so mad at the sun. It took forever to go down. Uh, so bored, I freaking, I don't know. I was 360 no scoping a fishing hole. I was so bored. Um, just waiting. Uh, and then the sun came up before I found the fish. And I was freaking steamed. And it took so long, so long. But as soon as the sun went down in my first fishing hole, I got it. That white slurp fish, it was so annoying. That was my most difficult one. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. I want to know what your hardest fish was to get. And you know your time and if you got them all see how quick the moon goes down uh just make sure when you go to slurpee you do it at night because that one got under my skin good luck guys let me know how you make out